doing? I'm Ken Komish. I'm Brandon Fair. And we're from Venture Out, and we're going to show you how to set up a six-man tent. This is the ground cloth. You're going to use this underneath the tent to keep yourself nice and dry from both the rain runoff and also the dew in the morning. This goes underneath the tent. Over here we've got the tent and this green thing, that's the rain fly. And we're going to put that on top after we set up the tent. Alright, first you're going to want to find uh, where the doorway is in the tent. It's on this side, so we're going to flip it around so you all can see that up front. In this bag, you've got all the poles. They're collapsible and flexible. They're really easy to put up. And there should be three in here. We're going to have two as support pieces. And then the last one's for the rain fly, and we'll show you how that's done. These snap together pretty smoothly, so... The two longer ones are the ones that make sort of a X shape for the tent structure itself. And then that shorter one just set aside and we'll use it in a moment. Right. We're just gonna cross it over the center here. And this tent has really easy to use clips. It's not like those old school ones with the sleeves. So we just clip it on. We try not to step on our tent as much as possible because we like to keep things clean and uh, then it's in good shape for next time we go camping. Alright, then Brandon and I, we're going to double team one pole, he's going to bend it up and so am I with him, nice and gradually. And if we feel any stress on any of the structure, we're going to just slow down and take a look so that nothing is getting damaged. We want our tent to last us for years to come. up here. And it's the same thing on this other one. After this is completed, you'll have the main body of your tent ready to go. There you go, and you want to stretch it out so that you have the maximum room underneath your tent. A couple of things about tent location. You don't want it to be on too steep of terrain. Um, we're going to use stakes to tie it down because it's kind of windy today. And the other thing is you don't want too many rocks or roots underneath just so you can have a pleasant night's sleep. Here's Brendan's got the rain fly. Place this over top and you're going to want to look for this pocket here. This is going to go where the doorway is and then on the opposite side. This is where that other pole we were talking about going to be located. Let's go ahead and 
feed this through. My partner Ken over there. Thanks, Brandon. I got it. A little bit like that. A couple of things we always try and do is we like to keep all of our supplies together so we don't lose anything. So when we're done with all this stuff, we're going to keep it in the tent for the night, just in one of the side pockets or off to the side. In here, we got the stakes, and there should be enough so that you can stake down all the corners and actually the sides as well because this is a bigger tent. These are aluminum stakes that are super easy to put in. You can just stick them right into the ground by hand if you're having a little trouble. You can also try a rubber mallet. And each tent um, includes this parachute cord um, that we use over here on the sides of the tent. You'll tie it to the side and then stretch it out to the ground and that keeps the rain fly stretched out so the water will not land on the tent but on the ground on the side of the tent. It also helps ventilation, um, so air can get up underneath and through the vents on the tent. So when we're done with all of our gear, if we're not using it, we like to keep track of it. We're gonna keep it on the inside of the tent. And that's pretty much a six-man tent. Yep. Any questions? All right. Be quiet.